Welcome back to another episode of The Tahira Show. This is talk number five, and this will be our final episode and our final upload of The Tahira Show for 2019. Talk number five covers relationships between ourselves trying to balance our masculine and feminine energies. Before we can recognize or find our soulmate or any of those things that are beyond the physical, we need to first dig deep and understand energy and its importance on our life and the universe. So unless you've been like living under a complete rock for the last 10 years, you'd notice like we have new keywords, cat phrases, whatever you want to call them, a way of speaking. Vibes, energy, mood, consciousness, spiritual. Like we use these terms on, you could basically say on the everyday surface consciousness level. Like not, meaning not even if you're like trying to be deep. Those are the words that we use these days. Like I worked in a high school and there were students that go to cheerleader squad that would tell me, oh Miss T, you got good vibes, like you're mad conscious. And I'm like, there's no way in high school I was talking about this. So you can already physically see that we're living in a different kind of space and a different time in our human history. The explanation of that is, and I've listened to it, like Deepak Chopra is a lot of spiritual leaders that track all these things. Like this is all they do, this is what their entire brand and what their businesses are about. Um, what they say is because of the way that we're able to connect a lot faster these days, it's like, say you took out the internet, we would have been still growing and heading towards the same direction, but at a very much slower pace, like how we were in the previous years of human existence. Um, now it's just like, it's quick, it's super quick, and everyday technology advances to push us into more into the 21st century. So we're all connected together. That's how we can find, about, find out about things live time and it's happening as it is right now we're commenting we have reactions in real time instead of reading a newspaper and then thinking about it and going and tell your wife and your kids about it at dinner no it's like you're on facebook you shared it you said it you know all that has to do with why we use the words that we use vibe because as that increases our human output on the universe increase our energies are there too and it's just more it's harder to ignore it's impossible to ignore honestly a lot of people now, you go into a certain space or you go around certain people, you feel, physically feel the difference. I wanted to talk more about relationships specifically, masculine energy and feminine energy and how we all need to find it in within ourselves and hone it and channel it and control it and, you know, let it run wild when it needs to before we can actually meet our match, our soulmate. And this goes across heterosexual lines, homosexuality, LGBTQ, or me, you know? It's for everybody. It's a human-based kind of thing. In reality, I would say, the way I sum it up is that the reason why we're able to increase and it's faster is because we're operating right now through visual connections, you know? So even when we first started being online, we couldn't feel or understand, sense things from like text messages. It took, it was like, that was like a whole generation or a whole era where like, people didn't know what things meant. Then we got to the abbreviations and laugh out loud. And now laugh out, LOL is like, such po that started as a text message abbreviation i want people to understand so if we think about it like that and we're all visually connected it was just a matter of time that our cell phones and the way that we reach out to people and me even sharing this with you guys a lot of people pick up my energy just off watching a video it's like that's that's because of the time that we're in because the same spiritual leaders understand and it is true you can search this on your own that there was a spiritual shift in the way the hierarchy of the human existence is like right now we know we live in a patriarchal society and it's been like that but in 2012 and moving forward for the rest of humanity we're moving from patri patriarchal to matriarchal we're going from masculine energy being dominant to feminine energy being dominant and it's not even dominant like this can be broken down to another video but it's more so because of what happened with the way masculine energy what they did they stifled a lot of feminine energy and everything else like babies and children and women and girls and all those things being stifled and only certain males and those types of mentality wars and i'll get a little bit further into that should have to change like in the natural order of the process climate change all these types of things it's because of that it was male male energy involved like i say when you hear masculine energy don't think like 
males, like guys. Like I don't f with my father no more. Like you know, it's not like one to one in that way. It's everybody. We're humans, so we're underneath here. This is happening above us. You know, step step your consciousness up. You go up there too. Different than a man that pursues art. You're a photographer. You're a rapper. You're a singer. You're a dancer. You're a clothing or fashion designer. You're an interior designer. You're a chef. All those feminine type energies comparing those like there's gonna be guys that are chefs and obviously they dance and all these things but those are males who are tapped in already to their feminine energy very different than the sales guy let's say you can't be a sales guy that dances but it's not the same thing now as females it's a lot easier to understand because we are built to create the purpose of our body the functions of our hormones sex we can create babies inside of us like we're a creation machine so it's a lot easier to, to understand the feminine energy art creation things that just come from our natural selves like it's in our physical being that's what they always say the female body is like a work of art like physically i'm gonna say people amend their body to look however they want to look that's fine our defaulted way when we're born from the womb it's beautiful women females are beautiful it's like you know Say males, they're chiseled and packed and they are sexy. Sexy doesn't necessarily equate to beautiful, you know? So keep that in mind when we're talking about our energies and tapping into yourselves. So now I'm going to flip it because I think this is where we all get a little confusing. Like, if I'm a girl, how do I find my male energy? If I'm a dude, how do I find my feminine energy? Even though I just kind of explained it in the art. So I use the example when I was trialing, trying out this content on my stories on Instagram. I basically said what I'm going to say right now. When I'm editing my videos and I'm looking for the clips to make the complete story make sense to you guys as the viewers, that's me being in producer mode. And I do that for results. I want the results of the video to be higher, I want more, to reach more people. And for it to reach more people, I know it has to explain it in a specific kind of way. It has to have an intro, it has to have a middle. I have to break things down when I'm changing um, topics. I have to have transitions, I have to have an outro. I need to also link the captions in the bottom and it's all production. But this right now, what I'm doing, I'm talking to you guys freely. I recorded this piece right here. This is my second time saying it because the first time I don't, I'm not reading from a script or anything. I just know I have notes here, notes that I want to touch on, but it's free. It's creativity. It's, there's no price on this. There's no, there's nobody even in here. And even if they were, it's like, I'm recording and I'm talking to you guys. It's free. It's open. Tapped into my feminine way. Thinking about. Hmm, I shoot it three, four times because I'm like, as a producer, I have to make sure I'm getting the content that I need to say. So you see, that's me tapping into feminine and male energy at the same damn time. A lot of us do that. A lot of us have that. We were born in a certain, I was born in 87. So millennials and I call myself like indigo children. I feel like I'm intuitive. I'm like a child of God. There's a lot of things that happened in my life that just should have been my end game. And I'm still here standing, you know? So before you can understand what's going on or what, how you're affected by the external energies and stuff you have to very be you have to be very clear on the energies you're giving off what they mean what they represent what they're about and start putting that stuff in line so if you're looking for a person who oh say, let's say you're going through a relationship you were in a relationship before now you're about to step into a new relationship you're about to download tinder or whatever it is that people used to date i don't suggest you using tinder actually like <laughs> Find a way to go on dates. Like maybe I'm about to have like a meetup group. I mean, what do they call it? Like a, a speed dating event in Brooklyn. Sorry if you're tuning in somewhere else. Take the idea, you do it. But you want to start dating. Before you get there, recognize the energy and all those types of things that were happening in your last relationship. The type of person you were. Were you more like the guy in the relationship or were you more a feminine relationship? Were you, did you feel creative? Were you one thinking of out the box ideas? Like, hey, we should do this for so-and-so's birthday or it's our, our anniversary. We should... Or were you just, oh, let me see what, let me do, go on Pinterest and, you know, doing like very, the results based. Like, I'm not about to think and take a chance. I'm just going to figure it out and get it done. Which one were you? Because that, whatever, you know, you were lacking is what, and, and, and in yourself, you can go back and understand like, well, is this something that I'm lacking? Is something I need to tweak? Is it something that I'm looking for another person to fulfill in within me? Because I'll tell you guys about my own relationship. It's change my life in ways that I still look back on and try to understand like, like why is it that he has so much over the other relationships that I was with like to become my husband and just partner in my life and partner in business and friendships and family it's just how did that happen but it's because of energies it's because of energies 
So we can talk about some of the things that helps us recognize, I guess, when it's our male energy inside of us that's leading and if the feminine energy is the one that's laying back or vice versa. Um, artists, creative people, that's all feminine energy, that's creation. I mean, female bodies are born with the power to create life. I guess we need sperm, which comes from the other side of the energy, but that's to keep us all balanced. Um, it's all about the balance. It's all about what I said earlier of masculine energy being the dormant, the patriarchal way of things, and now we're turning into a matriarchal way of things, females having rights, um, women being important in, in decision-making positions, and not in just their home life, but in their professional lives, in the spiritual world, all of it has to do with, you know, recognizing that the change and the way things were. Male energy is very much like aggressive, it's fighting, it's... So like people who play sports, for example, that's, that's another big, uh, good example. I have a note down for like a few things that I noticed throughout my own life that I can, that I know you guys recognize too. In sports, Serena Williams. What is people's biggest issue with Serena Williams? I know is that she's too strong for women to handle. Forget the men. Men can't even process her probably. You know, unless you're into tennis and you're a fan. Outside of that, people look at her like... It's been an example to, to myself coming from her background and just being powerful. I always consider her to be powerful, not strong. Like when she to take on like Nike and she had all these different, um, what do they call it? Like endorsement deals and stuff. And you know, everything was like strong and strong and all this stuff and be fit and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, she's dope. Like her body is like amazing. I saw her one time in the um, the ESPN, like the Naked magazine. I think it was what, like they do like the body issue when like all these athletes are like naked. So sexy. But she's always been powerful to me. It's powerful. Like, watching her play is powerful. She exudes powerful energy. This is always small watching her. Like, when she would play against her sister, I'm like, she's way more powerful than her sister, you know? And they're trained under the same people, under the same person. So, that's an example. Serena Williams is a female that always put out her masculine energy in a way that made it look good, you know? And it's intimidating to or males. The perception of females who play sports, for example, in general, like people in my, like I went to school, I went to a, 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 a university, so there were sports players and things like that. And the ones who were like females, they would act like guys, like in class or whatever. They're, they're making jokes, they're like drinking Gatorade. I'm like, you're like a boy, aren't you? You're like your son, you're like your father's son. Like, that's crazy. You know, and I just sat there and I like admired it. Still females though. So when it came to the teacher asking, about you know who had their work on time and everything Fem women would step up like the the male the female athletes in the same in the same classroom were always prepared and like they're not working as hard as the other athlete but the other male athletes are using well you know i had practice and you know i need an extension and i'm gonna have my coach send you an email and the female athletes just be like i'm ready i'm ready to report i'm ready to present i'm like right they don't y'all don't y'all not the same Right, we all need to have that competitive nature without being competitive i wouldn't be here i'm very competitive i wasn't competitive in school i always wanted to be the best i'm competitive now and i do events everything that i do it's like yes i compete with myself and then in the new scheme of things you can't compete with other people in that kind of way but in given situations like we're in a classroom in a controlled settings i'm definitely competing to be the best that's me being a male too like you know i mean i do it for sports where it's on a scoreboard where they're checking stats all day but it's competitive. We need it. Capitalism wouldn't work. Entrepreneurship wouldn't exist without competition. Go back to the sales thing. Sales is all about the numbers. Your numbers, the numbers. What numbers are you pulling in? What was our numbers for today? And our numbers went down. Literally, I'm working earlier today in the warehouse that I manage. And we have a phone call. And they're like, well, look at the numbers from last year. I'm like, well, clearly you took a loss this year. I'm going to call the guy and find out right now. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're in the red. <laughs> so once we understand that when we're acting towards our using and operating in our male energy versus our feminine energy. It's a little clear to understand when we're dealing with another person, especially the opposite sex or relationship in general, if if we're, like, what we're addressing. Because sometimes when you get into a fight, in relationships, and I'm big on fighting, that's male energy clashing, 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 clashing. Female energy is not based on fighting. Female energy is pull up a seat at the table, let's woo saw this out, let's have a meditation break and talk about this, or take a nap and let's talk about this. Sometimes, a lot of the time, you, you don't have that. It's like, no, I'm talking to you right now. And you're going after somebody and you're being aggressive towards them. That's the male. That's the male. Males, energy is why we lived on the grand scheme of the world. Wars, how do we deal with issues in our, in, in our society? World issues. A 
well, I guess we'll just go to war then. I'm going to drop a bomb on you. Now we're more so, even like just now when our president abandoned, what was it, the Kurds? People are talking about like, why are we even having wars at this point? Like, what, what? there's no other way to solve issues anymore. And that's because female, that's the female way. Like I just said, a seat at the table. Let's all sit down and talk about this. Let's find a way to deal with this. Females are not normally meant to be fighting and carrying on. It doesn't mean that we don't have that in us. The females that are in relationships with guys who exploit their niceness, their gratitude, their softness, you are missing, you're not tapping into your masculine energy. I guarantee you one time, show up, throw this dude off completely what he think you're going to say or he think you're going to do. And you see the balance kind of shifts a little in it. Because it's human nature to take advantage of someone treating you the old way. I'll bring it in a little bit to my personal life and give you guys an example of how I had to recognize or how I learned to recognize balance in relationships and how why this last relationship I was in ended up to be like my my marriage and all this stuff versus the relationships I was in before. The relationship in college I also felt I always felt like I was stifled because I never felt like I could fully be myself. And when I say fully be myself, fully live in the energy that I know in the essence that is Tahira, you know? And it's more masculine than feminine energy, I can say that, whatever. But I'm balancing it out because I'm doing more creative type thing. I tapped into that. And I've always wanted to tap into that Tap into that. when I was young. I was a dancer. It's how I process my therapy, my emotions, the stuff that's going through in my life. I'm a writer. I've always written in journals and diaries, etc., etc. The person I was with for those time, that time in college, though, he couldn't recognize that's what I wanted to do. So every time I tried to, like... Be free or think of an out-of-the-box idea. It was like, no, 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 that's not real and you can't be that kind of person. Like, we don't do that here. That's how it would come across. And I'm like, first of all, who the hell? I would just rebelled against it. You know, it was very much like, who the hell are you to tell me who, what, like, I can and cannot do. I had the word Hollywood on my MySpace page. All my friends are like, I don't understand you, but you're about to go to Hollywood. Like, how you gonna get to Hollywood and da da da, -da Hollywood. And this is years before I met Frankie. Da -da, da da Hollywood. I'm like, just because I put a GIF on my MySpace? But I knew, I knew the whole time we were together, even when the good times, like the great times, I like the happy memories, I still knew that like, this is not gonna be it. Because I knew from the very, from when I was younger, I had to be free. Free to be in whatever kind of energy I wanted to be. Bring it to my current situations that started 10 years ago. What I think me and Frankie both were lacking, we literally found in each other. He's an actor, I started to be his manager. I was missing masculine energy, he was missing feminine energy, creativity, art, being vulnerable, you know? That was the big thing for Frankie when he first started his acting career, was learning how to be vulnerable. I'm like, yeah, you can remember the lines that you have the emotions, but you have to be vulnerable. You have to drop the whatever you got here, you know, to, to be whatever. For me, it was all like, I had to learn to be harder. It's like, okay, so so what that you didn't get, like I graduated from college and the recession and all that stuff. He's like, you're gonna keep playing that card? like. You can do stuff, like step up. And I'm like, I don't know how. And then I learned, you know, it's like, no, I'm a manager. Then like, that's year one. Year by year two, I show up on set and it's like, oh, Frankie Tahira, like you have his stuff ready or not? Cause we don't have time for this. It took time though, you know? So that's just in my life. I seen it. I did, I seen it. We traveled as a couple and we went to a lot of different places, cities. We lived in Los Angeles obviously for two years. And people tell us, you know, we come around, it's like, oh, nah, y'all lit, y'all dope, whatever. Even people who, like, hate on us and, you know, everybody wants to be the one that's focused. When you walk into a room, you want to be the person that other people notice, you know? Even the haters had to come and be like, nah, y'all niggas is lit, though. Like, I see y'all. I'm like, yeah, because we shine. And we both shined individually, but when our lights are put together, we don't have to talk and we don't even care. It just shines, you know? That's why you have to have humility. That's why you have to be aware, but also be humble. Know that you have power, but own it to the right things. Frankie is like the, the most, and before me, like he's always thinking about another person, like homelessness or just charitable things. Like, you know, like I'm like that too. Like my started my company, media, everything was attached to like some type of charity. But I realized like I, to keep doing that business wise, I had to turn my company into a nonprofit. And I'm like, I don't really want to do that right now. Like it's a media company. It's supposed to make money. Like we're supposed to, we can't be a nonprofit right now, you know? So that's what, and it was his idea. He's like, you're going to keep doing stuff for like charity because how you say you're not a business person and you're running a 501c. I'm like, Frankie, shut up. But he was right. We're getting back to you guys who are tuned in into your personal lives and your relationships and the things that you want to do, the people that you're trying to date and whatever. You got to make sure that their energies are going to add value or take up space where you're lacking. 
because that's what you need because then if you have space like this that's how you're able to do like this you know you can't really it looks different when you so fill the gaps this is you this is the other person find it like that sometimes it's like this and it clashes sometimes it's just like doesn't look like anything or sometimes it's super in sync and it's beautiful and you inspire other people to want to be in love and to have a family and it's beautiful it's beautiful love is contagious just like anything else you know positivity it's all that so within our masculine and feminine energies mixing them together and matching them with another person in the right way can be a really a really beautiful energy recipe just thought about that when it pertains to energy and relationship that means that there are times where you need to you know power down just like our cell phones energy because our human bodies are made of that we're going 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 too much you either will run out and just like die automatically like can't even you know sometimes your phone's so dead that even when you put on a charger it takes like it's not even showing up like it's on the charger it's dead dead like sometimes you're dead dead and sometimes you just you need a little power boost so that's like you know take a nap step step back take a break in relationship get have your own interests Something I've always had in this relationship where I felt like I couldn't have in other relationship was not having them involved in the things that I got going on. Now it's like, I can't have Frankie in here shooting this video. This video should have been shot last night. He was here, we were hanging out, we were chilling. I can't have him in here and doing this. Even though like, even if we live together, it's like I still need my own space. It was like a curtain one time we lived in an apartment and it was in a curtain that was separating us from me doing my creative stuff to him doing whatever he's doing. I'm like, I don't need you to be right here. Like, I don't want you looking at me. It's like, I'm not even looking at you. I'm like, just don't. <laughs> It. so it's the same for, for every for everybody you know we're not special so take a time out sometimes it's like you don't need to break up you just need to power down your energies and just chill out take a chill break take a chill pill like everybody's deserving of real love everyone's deserving of finding that person that they've dreamed about that they watch on movies and they think about or you know we all deserve that and i believe that we all have it in us to find that person i think it's a little bit difficult now because in the way in which we we connect and we're even dealing like with people and understanding and there's so much it, it's just a lot to deal with it's a lot of device i mean a lot of like platforms to check and to understand because like, like if you're going based off someone's online persona they have five different online personas because they're lit on five different like i have twitter i have instagram i have snapchat i have youtube i have facebook you know, it's hard to just take in all of that along with learning somebody and staying close. And then you're an adult now, so you have your own responsibilities. Some people already have kids from their previous relationships. It's a lot. So I, I made this video to let you guys know there's a lot of work that we could do on our own to kind of speed up the process for our own lives. Like do the work. Okay, they say doing the work. Energy is a big part of that work. And understanding, like I say, masculine and feminine. So when a guy tells you something, know for the most part or understand where he's coming from if you're dating a guy who's artistic or you think that he's pussy understand him understand like maybe he's just creative maybe he don't have a lot of money because he wasn't focusing on that aspect of his life you know and there's nothing wrong with that if you're a guy and you're looking at a female and it's like well i don't want to be with someone who looks like a boss too because she's just always moving like a dude it's something that you may not want you may want someone who's more artistic who's creative who's spends time on a Friday evening making a vlog where she could have been I don't know whatever you know what I mean just find out what you want so you know what you can deal with and what you can't deal with and then once you get with the person and you fall in love and whatever support them support them as they go transition through the different energies as they should be supporting you like I said this is the last upload for this year thank you guys so much for tuning in subscribe if you like it I have a lot more relation based relationship based 